In this very short video, we'd like to demonstrate how we can solve a predator-prey model numerically using Microsoft Excel. The system of equations is given here where X represents the current fox population and Y the rabbit population. And we see this is an autonomous system as the current rate of change of the fox population only depends on the fox, the number of foxes, and the number of rabbits. Likewise for the rabbits. So let's begin. We first are going to create a column which we will label N. And uh, this is going to represent our iteration number. So we're going to let N go 1, 2, 3. And we notice over here we're going to let DT be 0 0.1. And we want this simulation to run for 10 seconds so I'm going to need a uh, thousand points here. So what I'll do here is pull this down for a thousand. And there we have a thousand. The next column will represent time. So let's just time and this is. So <clears throat> here, uh, to create a time column, we'll hit, put a formula here and hit equal the previous time plus 0.1. So the next time value is the previous time value plus this dt which is 0.1. Now I can just double click this little square box and it's going to update that entire column so we can see the time values. The other columns that we need is we need a column for our x variable, the foxes, the y variable, and then we need a column for what we call the slope function, the rate of change of x. And I'm going to use the uppercase f to represent that slope function for x and g the slope function for y. Now the initial value for the fox population is going to be 6,000 and we'll just enter 6 so we'll let our values be in thousands. Initial number of rabbits is going to be 6,000 as well so we put that there. So let's make sure we understand this. This first row at time 0 there are 6,000 foxes, there are 6,000 rabbits, we call that our initial conditions. Now we're going to insert the rate of change for x. So in our formula, again, we hit equal here, and it's going to be minus 0 0.1, we just enter the formula, times the current fox population, so I just click there, times, excuse me, plus 0 0.02 times x, I'll click x, times, click the y cell, enter. Okay, we're going to do the same thing for g. Again, g is the slope function, it's our rate of change for the variable y. To enter a formula, we begin, we select a cell, and we hit equal. And looking at the formula here, it's 0 0.2 times the current y value minus 0 0.025 times the product. So x times why? Next what we have to do is put in the update equation for x. So our next value of x is going to be the previous value. Here, If I write it over here, x evaluated at n plus 1 is equal to the current value 
plus delta x. So delta x is going to be the slope, which is f, times delta t, which is dt. So that's your update equation right there. I'm going to insert that right here. So we're going to put it equal. So my next x value is the previous value. I'll click this plus the slope, which is f, times 0.1. Same idea for y. My next y value is the previous value plus the slope, which is g, times, and we're using a dt or a delta t of 0.1. So there we see what the fox and rabbit population will be one-tenth of a second into the simulation. Now I have to update the slope function. So I'm just going to pull this down. We'll, we'll calculate the slope function now based on these new values. Carefully pull g down, calculate the new slope function. And now to update all the values, just select this row and double click here. And if you look down and see all you know valid numbers, uh, you're good to go. So now let's pl plot the fox and rabbit population versus time. This is done by selecting these three columns. And there's a thousand of them. Right here. And we, and we say insert a chart. Well, a scatter plot. Let's take a look at it. There it is. And of course you can edit this. So here, the blue is the fox. So we can see for this particular model, uh, both populations are changing periodically. You kind of see as the fox population goes up, the rabbit population goes down. The final thing we want to show is how to uh, plot a so-called phase portrait. Or it's going to be a plot of the rabbit population or fox population versus the rabbit population. For that case, I just choose these two columns, go all the way down, and you can see over there it's plot from the previous run is already there, but we select that and we insert scatter chart and that's the behavior. The initial condition over here is at 6.6 six, and we can see the behavior. Now if you look at my previous video a uh, good assignment would be to do redo this using the improved Euler's method. And using the improved Euler's method you can use a DT of 0 0.1 of 1 excuse me of 1 and you will see that this loop right here closes instead of becomes a spiral. Well thank you very much for listening and that's all we have for now.